Um, but you know, we're, we're really here today uh, to talk a lot more about the Center for Human Insight. So I'd love for you, Mike, to just sort of sum it up for us. Like, tell us what it is, why it exists, uh, and, and any other details you want to share. Thanks. Yeah, you know, it's um, it's a dream that a lot of us have had at the company for a long time, including you, Janelle. So I want to be sure we we credit that. It's a it's a group thing. Um, the center is is first first and foremost, it's a content website with a whole bunch of information on it, and we are just getting started on posting things. We're putting up one new thing every week, and it's all about kind of answering three questions. The first one is, what is human insight? What do we mean by that? You know, what 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 can you do with it? The second thing is, um, what's the full range of things you can learn from it? Kind of like we were just talking about those self-interviews, right? About the gifts. People tend to think of, you know, user tests as being something just tied to usability, when in fact, it's a way to get broad feedback on anything that you need to get reactions to or, or input on in real time. Um, and the range of things you can do with it, the range of things you can learn are just amazing. So we want to bring that to life for everybody so that they, they see what you can do. And then the third question is, how do you actually implement this stuff? You know, if you want to, if you want to deploy it within your company, what do you need to do in terms of training, changing your work processes? Because it really is a change in thinking. Um, and so giving guides around, uh, what, uh, what you need to do in order to take full advantage of it is, is one of the things we want to do. So um, growing collection of content, we want it to be the best place for those topics. And that's what we're trying to, to build out. 